Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to easily edit a PDF on your Mac. I'm using PDF Element Express from Wondershare. They were nice enough to sponsor the video. And as you can see, we have four different examples. Now these are just PDF files I downloaded, and these two are examples of something you might have that you may wanna modify. So let's open Health Information Release Authorization Form and see what we can edit and how easily. So within the application, we have four tabs on the left. It's really simple and straightforward. We've got home, organize pages, comment, or edit PDF. And then of course we have undo and redo, and then we have a couple different options down here. Now this is the fully registered version, but you can buy it as well, and you can try it out for free also. So we've also got some options over here. We can bring up a right panel or close that. We can also show the document in its actual size or zoom in and zoom out. And then up here we have a select mode. So if we wanna select maybe comments or edit text, we can get to everything quickly right here. So maybe we wanna edit text, we can click on text, it recognizes that it's text. Click in here, double click, and we could change this for, instead of authorization for release of health information, maybe we could change it to job history or something like that, or whatever we want to modify the document. Now we can modify the font as well. So if we click off of that, we don't like the font, we can go back in there and change it. And you can see here, there's a bunch of different fonts in here from the system as well. So if we wanna change it, we can change it to whatever we'd like. If we wanna change it back to um, any old Apple, color emoji, text or Futura, any of these, we have the ability to do that. And it's really simple and straightforward. So we can bold it, italics, or whatever you want. So that part's really simple and straightforward. We can change it around, as you can see, wherever we wanna place it, and it's got centering lines and everything. So we can center the text, now it's centered, and we're good to go wherever we want it. So that looks good, and we can continue to modify everything here. Now, if this was a document we wanted to change something, we could let somebody know or comment on something with all of these different Abilities here on the left. So we've got highlights and strike through and underline and pencil, text box, we can do shapes, text comments, sticky notes and stamps and your signature. So we'll click sticky note and we can select whatever color we'd like We can go to the selector. Maybe we want a lighter color, more like a yellow. We can select yellow and then go over here, double click where we want it and put in a note. Maybe we'd say, change the name of the document and leave the sticky note. And then we can send it to someone else to modify so they can see our note. So you can collaborate with others while you're using this. So it makes it really nice and simple if you need to change something around and let others know about it. Now, of course, here we can edit the PDF in different ways as well. Add links, edit images, edit text. Let's go back home and open a different type of document. So let's open something a little bit different. This is a brochure. We've either got a Mercedes or a Ferrari. Let's take a look at the Ferrari. Now this is just a brochure from the internet. You do not wanna change anything here and try and redistribute this, but I just wanted to show you this as an example. You can see these are all the different pages. If you wanna organize those pages, you have this little button on the left and it shows everything here. You can enable rearranging pages. So maybe you want this over here. We'll put it here. You can put it over there and it rearranges the pages, then you can export it again. It's really simple and straightforward and that's what I like about it. So if we'll go back here, go back to the pages, so we can edit the PDF, add an image, but maybe we want to comment on it. And this time we wanna leave maybe a text comment and say something right here. You can change the font and the text and bold the text. Uh, let's change the size to a little bit bigger and we'll just say Ferrari in red, of course. And then we can leave the comment there. Now, of course, you can move this all around later on, adjust it how you'd like, and you have all the different pages here as well. So if you need to get to something quickly, you can do that on the right-hand side. So it's really nice. Maybe you wanna throw a stamp in here. We could say this page is approved, and someone else can take a look at it 
It's got all of these really simple, straightforward features. Now, if you want to save this when you're done, you just go to file and save and save it just how you'd save any other file. So let's take a look at one more thing where we can edit this. Let's scroll down here, see if we can find some text and we can pull the text right out of here. So you'll see the thrill of a coupe. If we click in here, let's go to edit text mode and it finds the text and we can change this to whatever we'd like within the text. You'll see it picks up the font, what size it is and everything. So we could change it to. Now, of course, that's not what this sets, but you get the idea. That's what it looks like. And we can change it, edit the text however we want, make it look however we want or change any of the wording. We can move this around. If we want to move it to another page, we can do that fully edit any PDF on the internet. So that's pretty much it with PDF element. It's pretty simple and straightforward. I'll leave a link in the description below for 50% off. If you use my code, it's good until the end of August. And let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.